my beautiful stars i hope that you're doing so so well today if you're new here welcome to my channel i hope that you are staying super well as well as well as well as well so for today's video i have a pretty exciting thing at least for me because i am a spongebob fan always have and always will be um but my sister sarah she was obsessed i wish that we had a picture there is probably one somewhere in one of my grandma's scrapbooks but she loved spongebob and loved is probably an understatement when i grew up having her be so obsessed with spongebob i of course like a little sister is was also or was or is same thing <laughs> i'm also obsessed with spongebob i found out that wet n wild came out with this spongebob makeup collection it's limited edition and i ran myself over to the boondocks i went out to a walmart that i've never been to before like out in the country and i was like please have it because i was already going out there to of course go thrifting as one does i thought well while i'm out there I should just see if they have it and i think i manifested it because the night before i said i am going to find it and i found the entire collection did i get all of it no but did i want to yes and i ran away like a little hobbit i was just like had it all in my hands i didn't grab a basket and people were staring so be it this is the haul and i'm so excited to share with you all so walmart does have it um, i think it's select walmart so you could always look up online and see like the nearest stores for pickup that's kind of like my little tip i think target walgreens and a few other like pharmacy stores are supposed to get the products as well and then online the wet n wild website will have them too so i spent 73 dollars on makeup but do i think it's worth it um kind of i went a little crazy and it's okay to spend money on yourself sometimes so let's just get into the haul and if you want to see my first impressions i did this little makeup look i did like a little tiny review at the end you know spoiler alert i do like the products not a shock super fun products and let's just get into it first off is the exciting part the nautical nonsense palette and this guy was about uh, $15. It was $14.98 at Walmart. This is already cracked open because I did the makeup, but the colors are so funny and I'm going to name them off for you. So the first one is Mayonnaise, One Eternity Later, Tartar Sauce, Shady, or yeah, Shady Shoals, Bikini Bottom, I Eye Captain, Sea Star, Best Day Ever, Square Pants, Pretty Patty, Jellyfish Jam, Gare Bear, Howdy Y'all, Me Money, Order Up, Absorb the Love, load of barnacles and secret formula so i'm going to crack this open and just kind of show you from afar what they look like because i'll have up close cutaways i'm sure super fun there's a lot of glitter and shimmer which is totally my jam that's like what i usually wear for my daily makeup anyways so super fun but there are some matte colors in there from my friends out there that like to use matte colors i need to get into that because i feel like it would just be so fun well we'll do that later but i also got the spongebob highlighter and it's literally in the color spongebob super cute i'm just gonna kind of open them up for ya but this is what he looks like so cute so cute look at him and his happy joy joy face i just he's so cute and they have two mists they have the setting mist which i got and then they have a, a setting mist and then a primer mist i got the fun one because f is for friends that do stuff together you know the song and it had plankton on it and i just thought i would try and get products that have just about every character just so that i kind of got a sense for all of my nostalgic vibes that i was going for with this collection and this is super cute i love the packaging and this is i think what really sold me on all this stuff then this is super fun and i think a lot of people want these more than maybe some other things but it's their sponges so they have a spongebob sponge which you know i got one for my sister and then the patrick star one and his little face it's kind of twisted over here and they have a squidward one so it's so perfect because i feel like they got the three little pals as much as squidward doesn't or says that he doesn't like them i know that deep down he probably does and then they have a spongebob sponge house so you can store your sponges in there which i think is kind of handy if you're a makeup artist or you do a lot of traveling then you know that your sponge is going to be like in this little thing and it's not going to be rolling around your other makeup which is really cute 
and then I already opened it up but this is what the container looks like for Miss Sandy Cheeks they have two kabuki brushes they have Sandy and then they have a Spongebob one and I went with Sandy because like I said I wanted all the characters and so she's super cute and honestly the brush is really soft I've always liked wet and wild brushes you can sometimes find them at the dollar store and they're the best I think that they're super soft they work really great and I have nothing like super expensive to compare them to but I like them. They have the little Krabby Patty sponges cleaning kit so it's just all of the pieces of the Krabby Patty besides cheese. I don't know I thought there was always cheese on here but maybe not and each one is for different reasons or different ways to like clean your brushes or sponges which is really cool and the last product I got but certainly not the least is the little Gary sponge and brush cleaner so it's like a little soap i think and he's just so cute it's called snail soap suds so super adorable and gary is just the cutest thing in the world so those are all the products i got and if you want to stick around for my first impressions and mini review then definitely stick around and keep watching and i hope that you can get your hands on some of this stuff i'll leave a link down below to their website just so you can go ahead and click there if you want to order it and you can get the whole collection or you can get bits and pieces also i just remembered ulta did get some of the stuff so run to your ulta snag some if they have it and so thank you so much for watching and let's get into it Okay, so we're gonna crack into all of the products and get my first impressions. So some of these I already had to like open because the seals were really hard to get off and I didn't wanna be struggling with that while trying to film this video. <laughs> some things I do have open already just so I can quickly grab them and try them out for you. I just wanna clarify that I'm not a makeup artist. I just do makeup for fun and I'm just a regular gal that likes makeup, has a passion for it. So this isn't going to be like the most amazing makeup look or anything, but I like to do it for fun and I love glitter and shimmer so this palette is full of that and I'm really excited to try out these colors so I honestly am kind of overwhelmed by the color choices I think that these are totally Spongebob colors I don't even know the names are so funny too I'm more of like a natural gal with like the shimmers and glitter so maybe I'll go for something like that with maybe like a pop of glitter or color somewhere else so I think I'm gonna go with this color here which is called Shady Shoals and it kind of looks like sand or like pebbles in sand so I'm just gonna pack that on. I've had this makeup brush forever. I think it's from my mom originally from Estee Lauder. Ooh, I don't know if you guys can see that super super well but she's popping like I'm impressed. The one thing is with like any shimmer, I've noticed with like cheaper eyeshadows, cheaper, just like more drugstore brands, is that there's more fallout than normal, but I've gotten the same fallout from more expensive brands too, so it kind of just depends on the formula. Yeah, there's just a little bit of fallout, but that's not horrible. Yeah, I really like this color. Something about it, there's like reflectors or something in it that just make it pop super fun and i just did like the windshield wiper motion that's like one of my favorites <laughs> i think it kind of blends the color out for you so it's not super harsh and to kind of go with that i i think i'm gonna go for this color here which is tartar sauce and it's kind of like a yellowy but like not at the same time it's like a yellow white so maybe like an ivory i'm just gently tapping and that is what's coming off i don't know if you can really tell I'm do my beauty guru moment but there's minimal stuff coming off so that's like the one thing i know some eyeshadows you have to kind of like scrape the top Ooh, wow that's like really glittery so fun not complaining i think you can kind of see it's like a there's like some type of gold or yellow in it i feel lame for wanting to only like do that much i'm gonna okay i should do something else <laughs> i'm kind of in between these two colors here which are like pure glitter. So I think I'm gonna do this one, work that into like my outer corner, maybe the middle of my lid. as like a little pop. That's kind of crazy. I feel like a disco queen. This isn't turning out exactly how I thought, but we're just gonna roll with it. I'm gonna take my blending brush and just hack at it. I feel like a sandy beach queen so of course like i said i'm not a makeup artist so my hair or my makeup is not always perfect but 
I always have fun with it and that's part of makeup so so my first impressions on the shadows since I didn't dip myself into or dip my brush into any of the matte colors I feel like I'm gonna definitely do that next off camera but I think that these colors are super fun I really haven't seen colors like this in a normal palette I would recommend getting my hands on it if you can the fallout for the glitter is there I think you can kind of see which I think sometimes you can just kind of I typically just take like a big brush and try and brush it away and I know that you can do like baby powder under your eyes and then like brush that away and that helps with fallout there's a lot of little tips and tricks out there but that's the one downside but not a ton of fallout not like crazy I've seen some really bad fallout before so it's not super super powdery it's has a good consistency so the next thing I'm gonna try out on camera is the wet n wild spongebob highlighter which is like pure gold yellow <laughs> as spongebob is yellow i just think it's so cute look at them and with that we're gonna apply it with the sandy cheeks kabuki brush um kabuki kabuki brush can't speak today clearly we're just gonna gently tap it in there get just a little bit and oh my gosh wait oh my gosh do you see that <laughs> it's blinding kind of that's why you only need a little bit i think you guys can probably see it it's pretty gold. I feel very shiny. And the last product we're going to use in this video is the Fun Purifying Setting Mist, which has Plankton and Spongebob on it. And just... Woo! It smells like Bath & Body Works or like pink perfume. I have actually only used a setting mist like once and nothing crazy. I don't know what they're supposed to smell like, but that's just one thing. It does smell like perfume. That is just one thing if you're like really sensitive to that, to be aware of that. I'm going to go ahead and apply my mascara and I'll come back. Okay, so that is the finished product. I hope that you enjoyed today's video and if you did, definitely leave it a thumbs up. I hope that you had lots of fun. Cue the song, everybody. Probably not because of copyright. I'm so excited about these products. I think that they're so fun and this is not sponsored. I wanted to clarify that. As cool as that would be, I am not. So shout out to Wet n Wild if you want to help out your girl. I'll see you in my next video. Until then, of course, shine bright like your highlighter. Shine bright like stars. All the things. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye!